We're excited to sit with Jessamyn Hope and talk to her about her upcoming debut novel, Safekeeping. Safekeeping is a sweeping tale that covers 600 years of history dating back to the Middle Ages. Set on a kibbutz in 1994, it is the t story of an intersection between six people's lives and what unfolds I found to be so interesting from the Lower East Side to Belarus to Israel, from generations of different ages, this book had me captivated. And I am delighted to talk to you today, Jessamine, about this book, Safekeeping. Thank you for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. This might be your debut novel, but I have read so many books in my life. There is something really special about safekeeping. What is this story all about? Safekeeping is about human perseverance. It takes place on a kibbutz in Israel. And I am always fascinated with the fact that human beings, I think it's one of the most beautiful, awesome things about them is that they continue on with their lives despite immense tragedy. And I felt that setting it on a kibbutz, which was established in the wake of the Holocaust, was one of the most effective places to tell that, that story of human perseverance. When I read Safekeeping, I was fascinated by the brooch, this object that you had at the center of your story. Can you tell us a little bit more about the brooch? The brooch gets more and more meaning as the story progresses. I've always been interested in objects because we do have important objects in our life, but they're actually not animate. And the idea that we put so much meaning into this thing that actually doesn't have feelings itself. And I want to show how different people related to this object. But the brooch, as the story progresses, comes to symbolize the, the idea of, of somehow surviving despite the odds. If the brooch is so much at the center of the story, why not call the book The Brooch? Why call it safekeeping? Because every single character, as I believe every single person in the world, wants to feel safe. And each of our characters have something that makes them feel insecure, and they're really searching for a way to feel secure. And I think that we all do that. So, Jessamine, is this a Jewish book? The book's a Jewish book in that it takes place in the Jewish state and it does explore Jewish history, but it's a universal book because it is a story about human perseverance. And although the Jewish story is a grand example of that, every single individual has persevered despite some odds or some tragedy. And so I think everyone could relate to this book. Do you think non-Jewish people would enjoy reading Safekeeping? Oh, um, definitely. First of all, half the characters in the book aren't Jewish. So there's this exciting element of outsiders experiencing a new place. But in addition to that, uh, the, the challenges that each individual explores in this book are challenges that everybody would relate to. What were some of the challenges that you faced in writing Safekeeping? The greatest challenge in writing the book was that it is a multi-protagonist novel. And it is set in Israel, which is a charged place for many people. So I really had to sit down at the desk and make sure that I didn't write it as Jessamine the Jew or Jessamine the American or Jessamine a female, that I really inhabited my characters and tried to get as close to their truths as possible. Jessamine, without giving the story away, safekeeping does not have a particularly happy ending. It doesn't have one of these Hollywood endings. Were you concerned about not giving it a fairy tale happy ending? I wasn't concerned. I feel that readers want to see real life reflected in the books that they read. That's one of the reasons they go to books, so that they can feel more comfortable with their own lives, see people having the same struggles that they do, and take comfort from that and to learn from that. So I wasn't concerned about it at all. 